Hello beautiful people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today uh, I am doing a requested video um, about uh, 13 fragrance size setup. And this is a month of Ramadan officially. It started in a few other countries already. But Bangladesh, it's uh, starting from this morning onwards. So next one month, uh, Muslims going to observe a uh, month of fasting and, you know, trying to stay abstain from uh, overeating, you know, or rather eating during the daytime, also trying to stay away from sins. So this is kind of like, you know, uh, cleansing your aura or soul, you know, however you say it. So I'm, I'm not going to go heavy on the religious side because many people would say, hey, this is a fragrance channel. Yes, but I'm relating the channel with the uh, occasion, right? So these are a few fragrances uh, I think are going to be really good for day, night, whatever. During this month, I think they're going to be good. And I try to think like what is Ramadan, like, you know, fasting, but what does it sell, smell like to me? I lived 20 years of my life in Malaysia and then rest in Bangladesh. And I am pretty much aware of the occasion. So basically, uh, this is a requested video and I'm doing this after a while. It's going to be sour. So 106. So pretty early morning, late night. And I have 13 fragrances. Someone requested, brother, could you uh, do a list for Ramadan? So it's going to be good recommendation for us Muslims. So I respect every religion and I am here uh, as a human being, obviously. And I, uh, of course, I like to uh, cherish or uh, celebrate any uh, any great day, Christmas, Eid, whatever your uh, Dipavali, uh, Puja. I respect every religion. Okay, so keep that in mind. And I think let's go. So the theme here is gonna be not always wood and rose. You might be thinking yes, it's all about wood and rose. No, sometimes it it can be some other fragrance you can wear. And one big thing to remember is that very simple. Uh, fragrance alcohol is not prohibited some people go like i cannot wear fragrance brothers uh, this is gonna have alcohol that's gonna have wallahi haram haram no uh, our sheikhs you know our uh, you know wise guys already our pundits already said you know the rule is the alcohol used in the perfumes are synthetic alcohol not extracted from like you know somewhere else which is organic or something haram okay and this is something you're not injecting your body so fragrances are allowed so you can double check you can go on net you'll get your answer. So I have some oud fragrances, some not so oud, some fresh ones, daytime, nighttime, I will mention. And you can try them. You don't have to really buy them. Uh, but I I actually enjoy them. Let's go with uh, affordable fragrance first up. Latafa Mahir. This is an affordable perfume, okay? I think Mahirs are around $25 to $35, give or take. Very affordable perfume. You can tell from the juice color, it's opulent, it's golden. When you see gold, it sort of represents Oud, right? Yeah, this is Aud. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to uh, try to sound like Arabs, but you know, some people go like shawarma. You know, like I had shawarma in my restaurant in Malaysia. So one of these girls uh, from, I think she was from Sudan, one of my best friends, right? She was my customer, then turned best friend. So she used to study somewhere and she used to come down and then eat at my place. It's like 2014 or yeah, 12, 13, 14 around this time. I think 13, yeah. So she used to come down and she's, she has that Arabic, obviously, and she used to go like, I want a shawarma. And the shawarma is, I cannot say it properly, it's very strong. So, uh, you know, Aud, you know, Oud. So Arabs speak differently than us. So I do apologize if my Arabic is broken. I used to learn Arabic in our university in Malaysia, but I forgot. This is such a beautiful perfume. This is not all about Oud. This one has some uh, sweetness. It has some fro florals like rose, perhaps. And there's some definitely some fruits. Very beautiful, sweet. Uh, ambery, a uh, kind of like a uh, wearable. It is heavy, but if you do not overspray, you can wear this throughout the day. If you just go two sprays, beautiful, nice projection, nice longevity, and especially for prayers. If you're going, you can wear this. You're gonna get like you know, people will give you compliments, like you smell nice. Okay, so that's the Latafa Mahir from this line. I can think that's the best. Next one is a very special fragrance. It is a gift from my brother, uh, dear brother Shafi Bhai. He uh, he is admin of my group during i think 18 or 19 2018 or 19 he went to perform hajj okay with his family uh, mashallah very very good person religious family and he's one of my best friends so he uh, usually like like you know not usually but he got me a gift he brought this and he said brother i have something for you and so nice of him this perfume nobody mentioned this from rasa anymore because i don't think people have it this fragrance the name is all in arabic so i always forget so i wrote down this fragrance is called kaltat al Khasa. Kasa, okay if you read arabic you can read so this is a small little bottle but it has a beautiful juice inside really wearable when i smell this i haven't worn this this month i will wear it this is really really nice this one i think it 
feels like uh, not honey, but there's something sweet about it. You know, it's like uh, something you want to wear and you really enjoy. It's kind of like a fruity, fresh. It is wood, but clean. Okay. And uh, more or less, it's really enjoyable wearing. During the daytime, you can wear this. And I think this is a really um, holy kind of smell. I really like. And anybody can wear it. It's very wearable. Not your typical rose wood that is unwearable. Okay. So this is a very approachable perfume. You can gift it to anybody men women both gender can wear it and it's very lovely this is called kalta tal khasa by rasasi i write down the names don't worry next one is oil for those people who are so concerned man i need oil no uh, alcohol based perfumes won't do here's a solution for you i think these lines are discontinued and they may be they're doing new line this one has the arm of club new intense man pure perfume oil this fragrance is 20 ml back in the days now they have released miniature size of arm ups, like same bottle small this bottle the sticks you know these are sticks just showing you when they open they open like this and then sometimes not the whole thing need to come off but it has a stick and this is really really gorgeous because you just get the very fruity if you see my review or other reviews sorry it's a bit troublesome taking it out and on and off so this is pure perfume oil so people who are scared of the alcohol in perfume there you go solution so you can buy Almost every Arma fragrance, Milestone, I think the Arban, a few of the other ones, they release oil version, you can try it. These ones are potent, really, really long lasting. But if you layer it with Sidinim, for example, with this, it will have eternal longevity. You can wear this for nighttime, daytime, prayer time. You will have this amazing fruity, a bergamot, lemon, citrus, apple, very beautiful perfume. So uh, my suggestion is Arma Sidinim pure perfume oil the new versions are 18 ml keep it in mind so now we have 10 left just now i reviewed one fragrance i'm showing it right now this is called uh fragrance world moonlit night the one and only and from the name if you're already aware of the names of the the one lines you know it's a dupe of the one luminous night and just now i said in my review i gave it a pretty high score check that out i gave it a 8.7 i think out of 10 so impressive so beautiful for the price you cannot beat it it has some middle eastern elements it has the note of date which we take during our breaking fast or book up was in malaysia uh hello samu abang uh dan what uh <laughs> Brothers and sisters in Malaysia, I'm saying hi to you. Assalamu alaikum kapuasa. Okay, so you're already having that. So I wish you uh, also, you know, in advance, salamat hai raya. So this one, you can wear this for the night time. If you're going for prayers, this is right after the evening. Perfect magic. Really good longevity, really good push. It smells a little sweet, little Middle Eastern, little spicy and uh, maybe ambery. Okay, so very good clone of the one luminous night. It's called Moonlit Night. So now number nine. I'm going to show a little bit of a bling bling, a Middle Eastern fragrance, which is hard to find and super expensive, 125 bucks they're asking for it. This is called John Vervetos Oud, simply. So John Vervetos line, one of the things I love about this, 125 mil or 120, one thing, beautiful bottles, another thing, and this fragrance smells of quality. It is not the longest lasting though, and this is more like a designer Oud, typical designer Oud. You get some spices, something like Oud wood on a budget, perhaps, or designer side. If you want to wear, <clears throat> sorry, something designer like Versace or Noir, you can go with, you can go with Boss Bottle Oud, any other Oud. But today I just want to show you the Bling Bling Bottle, John Vervetos Oud, very nice fragrance, but pricey. <clears throat> Next, now typical Oud Rose, you cannot do one uh, list like this without this type. This is Esti Dupont Oud and Rose, it used to be called Esti Dupont Oud et Rose, Oud E.T then rose that was in the black bottle now this is a new bottle this is also discontinued i heard super beast mode i bought a partial and i am so happy i got this this is a remarkable perfume remarkable write it down remarkable you know why because it will leave an impression on your mind when you wear this when you tried it on the paper and the dry down to the rose it's just so beautiful experience such a fruity uh, floral wood and the wood is not skanky is a rose dominance if you love rose you can try it who that Oud and rose, uh, less ro oud, more rose, okay, and fresh also, very long lasting. Esti Dupo, oud and rose. So, next one is an uh, old fragrance of mine. I just remember I have this, maybe I'll finish it during this Ramadan. Arabian oud, Kalemat, simply Kalemat, not the Kalemat black. I have some juice left, but this fragrance, so many memories. This and Kalemat black, my early days of reviewing, my uh, it was like. How do I say? I was so into this kind of 
fragrances, especially Arabian Oud. I did many reviews. Uh, I think uh, maybe 20 or something, but every Arabian Oud fragrance is special to me. They're more expensive, more premium, and some of their sh sh showrooms are closed, but you can still get this online. I don't know if you can get it now. It has a black currant or blueberry, something like that. It has fruits, it has amber, it has oud, but the oud is not like a very uh, Middle Eastern style. This is, yes, it, it is, uh, it'll give you a little bit of Middle Eastern vibe, but not super heavy, okay? And this is very high class, rich man scent, okay? Kalimat Black is more chocolatey than this, but I think this is more appropriate for Ramadan. Kalimat by Arabian oud. Try to get a sample out that. Next one is Al Haramain. Al Haramain, Amber Oud, Ruby Edition. So this one is going to be a little bit up for debate. Some people say, why? Why would I want to smell like Bakara Rouge in Ramadan? I'll tell you what. So many <laughs> people are praying nowadays and you guys are wearing the Oud, not knowing Bakara Rouge, where the original came from, right? So Mason Francis Kershaw, some people think like, oh, some people wear like to wear uh, this perfume called Invictus, Atar version. Uh, sometimes Aventus, people call like look for Aventus Atar. They don't know where the original came from. So, you know, breaking the barrier sort of, okay? So this is a fantastic, fantastic fragrance. Like this DNA, whatever clone you get, you get uh, Mancera's Instant Crush, this one, anything you like. Just don't wear it on the neck, it burns, okay? But on the shirt, it smells beautiful. If you're praying in the AC and you want to smell nice, of course you do Uzu, but also you want to smell a little bit pleasant, right? People, when they pray next to you, they will be really uh, comforted or, you know, like uh, mesmerized by your smell instead of heavy agarud or something, which some people wear. I cannot take that. But uh, sorry, it's just my my taste. And I'm not judging others, but this is a beautiful fragrance. You can wear this. Ladies can wear it alike. Men can wear amberud, ruby edition, or also you can get the rouge. That is also nice. Very long lasting. So you have last five left. Okay, let's just go one by one. Number five, a little bit of a pricey one. Mansera, mid-range niche house. Okay. Used to be very affordable niche house, under 100 bucks. You could get these for 65 bucks. Now, all over 120, 150. Uh, this is called uh, Mansera Intensitive Oud. Okay. So, the name is a little bit scary once again, but man, again, a juicy Oud with a lot of uh, sweetness, a lot of citruses, candy like feel. And the Oud is there, but it's not to scare every, everyone. Okay. Amazing longevity. Amazing. You can get half a day out of this. Okay. So intensity out, uh, I think it's one of the Mansara's best. You can get many other gold intensity, gold intensity out. You can get the black line, uh, the golden line, the pink prestigium, those. But this is really, really good, powerful stuff. So let me introduce a fresh fragrance, okay? Uh, I think this is one of the first fresh ones here after the pseudonym. This one, I would suggest uh, try this in Ramadan daytime. If you're wearing something like this in the office you smell very pleasant light not disturbing others because people are fasting so they're gonna be hungry you don't want to disturb them very bright near olive hard to find now expensive getting like this and uh, when it was out it could be had for 25 odd dollars such a beautiful nearly citrus lemon very soothing very soothing right so people working nowadays the new time is until 4 p.m right yeah you work from 9 to 4 then you finish early, you can go back, you know. So three to four, I think that's the new office hours. This will do perfect from the morning all the way to 3 p.m. Great daytime fragrance. You can try that. And it's really, really inoffensive. Now, last three. So the last three are a little bit more expensive than the rest. Okay. Uh, but they are really, really good too. Ah, man, this house. I have only one fragrance from Montal, which is amazing. I have seen a few of the other ones I really wanted to get, especially the one with the horse the arabian tonka tonka arabian something uh, but i didn't get it for some reason it was so sweet but price and it a little bit better price would amazing if you want one perfume for your whole ramadan wallahi brother <laughs> you put this on on your jubba two to three sprays you go out in the morning you go around you know um, work and you at an iftar you come back home you take a shower this stuff will not leave you okay i'm not joking this is so potent. This is the most potent fragrance. Uh, maybe second most potent fragrance in this list. I try it. Montal Oud, amazing. Sweet, fruity, little bit of Oud, little bit. It's not Oud based. It's a chocolatey, sweet, very uh, floral. Like maybe there's rose in there. I forgot, but great fragrance. I just love wearing this. At nighttime, I'll wear this. Number two, expensive fragrance. M.O.R. Jubilation 25. Yeah, this is a crowd favorite for niche lovers. This is 
for sure the most high class fragrance in this list most high class okay got beaten by number one because i like that a little bit more so this fragrance man it is fruity it has some fruitiness it has some golden elements it has whatever it has it's very inoffensive this is a special special perfume some reviewers regard this the highest quality of amouage and i can definitely agree very wearable very polished smooth wood and also got some fruity elements got some mild spices woodiness and then the incense is just so polished not much smoky okay so this is for eat day perhaps or if you have a special iftar party with your office boss where this your your promotion is granted okay just joking if you don't work hard you get nothing <laughs> sorry and number one uh, this fragrance is the official fragrance i could think of i have many other perfumes but somehow when i think of rose this thing one always wins my heart portrait of a lady by dominic ropion by fred dick Mao. so this perfume man this house I think among whole niche houses, I have different level of respect for this house. I own many of them. I reviewed. I do love uh, Frederick Mall. I think Mas Ravageur. I have a, like a Dickan. Man, they're very close to my heart. Not because they're expensive. They're close to my heart for two reasons. One thing is the eternal longevity. Eternal means literally on the shirt it lasts one week. So when you pay a lot of money, you want that, right? Quality. Second thing is that blend how it smells how it changes how it's so mesmerizing in the air how it develops the rose is so beautiful it leaves a huge central siage if you wear this and go for performing uh like your prayers and stuff that are we this fragrance will fill up the whole mosque not that you want to do it but it's a it's it's a ultimate experience so this is the most beast mode out of the whole this is the second beast mode i was talking about but in terms of the scent profile MOH jubilation is number one today, but overall, portrait of a lady. That's what I suggest. So there you go. 13 fragrances. Long video. Hopefully, you will not be too annoyed. But you can also check the list. I write down the names. You can get sample of them. You can buy them. Go to the shop and try them. I'm sure you're going to find your fragrance for Ramadan from these. Okay. So have a nice day. Do let me know what you're wearing. And uh, all the best for your next one month. Uh, be good, guys. Don't be naughty. See you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.